Hey guys, we're back with another one, and this time we're talking about the five places that if you walk there, you probably die. Now, I know it sounds ridiculous, but there are many places in League of Legends that even before minions spawn, you'll die. One of the first places people like to stand is in the tri brush, especially on blue side. It feels like it's safe because no one can see you, and you think you can see everyone. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> one of the things that could happen is the enemy team could walk through that brush in the river and walk along the wall, and you wouldn't be able to spot them even with the vision you have. You can also get grabbed over the wall from Dragon Pit. Instant death. This might be acceptable in solo queue if a pleb does it, but I've seen this in international competition by pros. Pros! So what should you do? You should be standing in the river. If you stand in the river, you can see everything. People are afraid because they think something's gonna happen to them. Nothing's gonna happen to you. You're gonna see them at the same time they see you and you're gonna be able to run away. It'll also include vision of both the lane and all the way up to the ramp. However, be sure not to stand too close past this little dark area. If you stand there, you're in range for other skill shots that could hit you, especially a Blitzcrank grab. If they happen to ward over the wall in that brush. Behind a red buff is also a bad spot to stand. If it's the same premise as the tri brush, the lack of vision that you have when you're standing there does not benefit you. A lot of times people will tend to use their ward here just to spot the invade or they'll run up in the river and drop one in there. However, your ward's on cooldown now if the enemy jungler does a three camp gank. And if you walk up to ward, and the enemy team gets there when you do and they have any type of pick, they'll probably catch you. Standing further back in the open by raptors is better for you. You're going to start to find a theme here. People stand by blue buff in the bush. If no one's guarding the other side by the banana bush, then the invade just comes through across the river and behind you and you never see it. You could probably pour out a bag of rice on the ground and it still wouldn't be the number of times someone's died at this buff. You should be standing down off the ramp in the river the same as you would be if you were in tri brush. You'll see them walk into the banana bush in the river and you'll get away. Here we go with another death bush. So this in top lane, if you decide to cheese someone, you can stand in this bush ahead of time. They walk into it all casual and you just wreck them. Chase them all the way back to tower and they'll have to blow flash or ghost or whatever it is that they have. So always keep this in mind when you walk into this bush because there's a good chance that someone is sitting in it and waiting for you. The red side top laner might guard for a steal, so you might have time to get in here before they do, and then they'll just saunter in and take a ton of damage. This can be a great way for you to get an advantage if your champion is actually better at level one. Now the last place that you don't want to be running is between the turret and the wall. A lot of times people do this in bot lane specifically, if they're trying to dodge a skill shot at the last second. When you do this, you're limiting your play area down to about 25%, with the tower taking up some of that. At that point, if I'm shooting a skill shot at you, I don't even have to move my mouse if I don't want to. And it'll hit, guaranteed, every single time. Most of the time people do this when they're about to die. If you run here, it's almost certain that you will die. The only time you should really be standing here is if someone's trying to tower dive you, and you can use the tower for protection. A lot of people tend to neglect the fact that they have a champion only key, which will keep them from attacking the tower. But a lot of times people will misclick, they'll hit the tower once or twice, and you might be able to trade a one for one rather than dying a miserable, embarrassing, horrible death that you'll never recover from ever in your life. No pressure though. For more educational content, make sure to sub to the channel, hit that like button, and check out some of the other videos I've made. So now you know, I just saved you some flame, and your teammates will probably thank you for not griefing them.